Hi everyone, it's John here. Um, I've got the Armstrong Cannon rifling set up um, just about ready to actually cut the rifling in the in the cannon barrel uh, but I just thought I'd show you a dry run to start with so you can see what's going on. So <clears throat> top right hand corner is my laptop which is uh, running Mac 3 to control the CNC mill which is there and at the bottom left hand corner uh, you can see a uh, rotary table which is also CNC controlled. I converted that last year from manual to a CNC controlled rotary table. And you can see the cannon barrel is attached by this aluminium jig to the spindle of the mill I've got the spindle turned off so I won't accidentally engage it and when I set Mac 3 going the table will move 300 millimeters or roughly a foot in that direction and at the same time this uh, rotary table will turn about 180 degrees so uh, now sorry about the racket in the background that's a, a three-phase converter which I used to power this workshop and just have a look at what we've got in the photograph and what I've got uh, programmed here is for for those who use Mac 3 uh, I'm doing it as a G0 which is um, high speed and I won't be doing it this fast when I'm actually milling uh, when I'm when I'm doing the rifling um, in reality but just for this demonstration. So it's going to go to 300 millimetres to the left and uh, it will rotate 180 degrees. Hopefully, if all works according to plan, we'll see that operate in just a moment. So, off we go. So you can see the table is moving to the left and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on this video but that rotary table is also moving and it's going to do a 180 degree twist. And then at the end of each cut I will Just reverse the process um, and at the end of each cut I will actually uh, release this screw here which will allow the cutter to retract back into the um, non-cutting position. So that's the theory and um, next video I make hopefully will be showing this in action. So I've got a few um, question marks about this whole setup. One is that um, the stepper motor running the rotary axis table is only a NEMA 24 which might be a little bit underpowered to uh, to do the twisting action but I think it is a, a 1 in 60 or 1 in 90 ratio rotary table so it's geared well down and uh, the other thing is how the high speed steel cutter is going to cope with um, actually cutting the grooves. I, I fully expect to have to sharpen it um, every, every couple of cuts, but we'll have to see how that goes. So that's the system, and wish me luck for doing the real thing. I will probably do one or two cuts before I make the next video. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're actually doing rifling now, so excuse me while I get in front of the camera. I'm going to turn it its position. Each full turn of the key advances the cutter 0.2 of a millimetre. 
once it starts cutting, I've found that it cuts best if I only take it a sixth of a turn. So about 0.03 or 0.04 of a millimetre. So a sixth of a turn. <coughs> Cutting now. I don't know if you can see it, but the, uh, the rotary table is going around at the same time the axis is moving. Put it on heaps of oil to lubricate it. This is the second rifling groove. And after each cut, we'll check the um, to make sure that it's not clogged full of chips. I did have a problem with the first cut. And these bolts were cut, were um, tightened, but the, um, the slots I'd made weren't quite uh, big enough, and the barrel wasn't really tightly um, held, and it actually let go on me. So there was a fair bit of mucking around to um, get it back into position. So. I'll Turn the camera off now and uh, I'll show you the end result in about another half an hour. It's taking about 12 cuts per rifling groove to get it to the depth I want. So I'll come in close for this run. Uh, I don't know if you can see the little um, adjusting cap screw there in the centre of the, the barrel. That's the jig for holding the barrel, some brass protective strips and the cutter at the moment is fully advanced to the start position and that is the CNC rotary table. <coughs> okay, so the bring up the Just to show you the um, chip load there. I'm digging the chips out after each run. So sorry if this is not very good videoing. I'm hand holding the camera. <coughs> 